Hi, it's Orit here. In this video, we're going to talk about Bluehost and I'm going to let you know whether it's a good option to go with for your web hosting for your particular website. So you're probably at a stage where you're looking to find a new host, whether you're, you know, moving away from another host and you need someone better, which was the case that I was in because before Bluehost, I've been with Bluehost for just under two years now. And before that, I was with another web host called Lunar Pages. Crickets sounding. Yeah, you probably haven't heard of Lunar Pages and that was the problem. You know, I was with Lunar Pages for a long time and I had to put up with a lot of stuff and it really didn't need to be like that. I'm not sure why I didn't switch over to Bluehost a lot sooner. But aside from that, you know, if you are switching over to a new host or just setting up your website for the first time, we're gonna talk about Bluehost, why it could be good, you know, in what cases it could be good for you, in what cases it might not work, that sort of thing. Bluehost is one of the behemoths of web hosting on the internet at this time. They are really, really well known for um, for being a reliable web host. They're very popular. They've hosted, you know, over 2 million websites across the internet. So you probably heard of, you know, you've heard about them and you wanted to do some more digging to find out if that's actually true. Just because something is popular doesn't mean it's true. Well, there are a few things that I really, really like about Bluehost. And, you know, because they're so big, they are able to offer reliable and good shared hosting plans for inexpensive, you know, for less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks a month. So the first thing that I really like about Bluehost is that it has unlimited bandwidth which basically means that you aren't really limited by a ceiling as to how much stuff you can upload onto the server. So when you build a website, you have to upload pictures and create pages and uh, do all sorts of things, videos, embed videos, and all of these things take up a certain, a certain amount of storage on the server. So with Bluehost, because they're so big, they've set themselves up in the, in a certain way to be able to accommodate millions of websites. They are able to offer unlimited bandwidth. Now, when you look at their plans, it doesn't say unlimited. It says unmetered, which basically it does mean that, you know, they're not going to limit you. There's no restriction in the amount of storage or, or uh, the amount of things that you can upload to the server. However, what it means by unmetered and the reason why they didn't use the term unlimited is because when you get to a certain amount, they might kind of slow down your site a little bit, but that amount, like that ceiling, uh, that invisible ceiling is really, really, really high. So it's not something you necessarily need to worry about or feel you know, restricted about. It's really unlimited bandwidth and that goes for every plan that they offer aside from their most basic plan. So that's one of the things that I really love, unlimited bandwidth, you can just kind of upload whatever you want to your website and and just roll with it, you know? As your website grows, if you really, really do need to think about having a dedicated server, meaning not being on a shared server space, but on a specific, uh, kind of like your own little separate apartment away from the the rest of the shared server so you have your own space and that's something you can do as well with Bluehost as your site grows. So unlimited bandwidth is a huge benefit. The other thing that I really really appreciate with Bluehost is the 24-7 customer service support um, the chat, the live chat option where you can literally just open up a live chat and ask someone a question is huge. This area of customer service is where a lot of other web hosts drop the ball. It's either non-existent, there's absolutely no standard set, uh, or it's just so bad and when you ask a question they either take forever to get back to you or they just don't understand the question and you know it takes you way too too much time to to actually ask the question and figure out an answer. So Bluehost, I really, really appreciate. 
their customer service. You can literally at any time if there's a problem and it's your website, right? It's your business. So it's really good to have that access to support when you need it because if the website goes down or something doesn't work for whatever reason and I haven't had I had that problem a lot with my other host but with Bluehost I haven't had that problem at all um, so if anything does happen you can literally just get on a live chat with someone uh, or give them a call too I just love the live chat option because it's a lot more convenient the other cool thing about Bluehost is it will meet you wherever you're at in terms of what you need for your website. So whether you want to throw up like a quick website, kind of like a digital card, just with, you know, what you do and your contact information, it's perfect for that. It's perfect for newbies. Um, and then if you want to scale up to like a an e-commerce platform or a membership site or anything like that, it can also meet you in that space. And they have options available for you wherever you're at. For me, like I just, I use this to design WordPress websites for my clients, as well as I host all of our own sites on Bluehost. So it's great for WordPress. And what makes it really cool is that it's like a one-click installation of WordPress. So it makes it super easy. Their C panel, which you might have heard, is kind of like the back end of the host um, of the server. So you can kind of see like, you know, your file manager and, you know, security options, all that kind of stuff. It's where you create your email accounts too, which by the way, you get unlimited email accounts too with Bluehost, which is cool. So in that C panel area, which looks something like this, you know, there's a place there where you can literally just click to install WordPress, one click, and it's, you know, you've installed it. There's none of this manual installation of WordPress like you might have needed to do with other hosts. So if you're not technical, it's really easy to do that. And also, they've just introduced something called WordPress uh, Pro. So when you're, um, when you sign up for an account with Bluehost and you want to start a WordPress website, they can set something up for you that looks like this in the back end, where, you know, it's kind of like a checklist for you to launch your, your website, uh, with, you know, certain action steps that you need to take. They have analytics, like a place for analytics here in the marketplace. Uh, it's, you know, where you can also access the dashboard of your WordPress website from here. So they've kind of organized it all in a way that's visually appealing because before there was just this, right? The C panel. So if you are more technical and you want full access to something like this, which is the C panel, you can definitely do that and dive into all of these options. Uh, otherwise, this is also cool for newbies where you're just, it makes it a lot more visually appealing and user friendly to work with WordPress on Bluehost. Okay, so what about pricing? Okay, pricing is, like I said, because Bluehost is so big, they can offer cheaper pricing plans than their competitors. And that is mostly the case uh, if you're looking for a dedicated web host uh, plan, meaning you want you don't want it to be a shared host space. You want it to be like you have to have your own separate space on the server because you're going to, you know, you have a ton of traffic coming to your website, like over 100,000 visits a day and that kind of thing. Then a dedicated web host server would be something more for you. And that's where it starts to get a little bit pricier. But if you're just starting out, web host is great. It has great priced plans and I'll um, see I'm on the landing page right now. And by the way, I'm gonna put a link to Bluehost down in the description below so you can check it out uh, directly from this video. Just click, click on the link from the description. When you do click on it, you'll come to a page like this one and you'll see uh, right off the bat, they have like a promo happening right now. It's a free free domain name for the first year. So if you don't have your domain name, which is, you know, the www.yournamehere.com, they will give it to you for free for the first year. If you already have a domain, it's super easy to just bring it over to Bluehost. Um, like if you bought one already with GoDaddy, which is what we did, you can, it's not a problem to bring it over at all. Uh, so they give you the 
free domain for the first year, a free SSL certificate, which is um, a certificate, a security certificate, especially if you're going to be selling things from your website. This is really good to have and it's a must have uh, because it lets your customers know that your site is secure uh, when they're providing their information to you on their webs on your website. Like I said, it's a one-click WordPress install, 24-7 support, my favorite feature of all. And starting at $3.95, that's US a month. Uh, so if you click on that, on Get Started, you'll be able to see the different hosting plans. And the $3.95 a month is the very, very basic plan. So this is the one that is not, um, it's not unlimited storage. So like you see here, it's 50 gigabytes storage. Still a lot, but I mean, like if you are going to be just throwing up like a one page website and one website, then it might be good for you. But I typically advise um, our clients to get either, either the plus or the choice plus is the most recommended option. And also just the one that kind of fits for most people. The difference between the two, and you can see here they're priced the same, at least with the promo, they're priced the same, $5.95. Uh, it says normally this is $14.99, this is $10.99. And by the way, this price is for the first year only, I believe. Yeah, so this is the promo, the promotional price is for the first year only. So um, once your plan renews, it goes back to the original price. For what you get, you know, peace of mind, reliability, 24-7 support, uh, none of the issues, unlimited bandwidth, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we were looking at the difference between these two. Uh, basically, you have, you know, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited websites you can put on either of these plans, free security certificate, unlimited domains, all this good stuff. The only difference between the two is extra bit of security and privacy. So typically with your domain, you are able to look up the information of that person who owns the domain. If you want domain privacy, so you don't want anyone to look up that information, then you can, uh, then the choice plus would be a better option for you if you want that extra privacy. They also have site backup uh, included in this choice plus plan and that's just an extra option to back up your site regularly you should definitely have a backup plugin or program or tool that does back up your website for you you don't need to go with this code guard basic you can use another option like for example if you wanted to uh, use the plugin backup buddy is something you can just install on your your website yourself and have it back up on a regular basis. So there are other options for backup. If you already have your own way of backing up your site, then you might not need to go with that. So that's the only difference between the plus and the choice plus. If you are creating a website that will have a ton of traffic coming to it, you know, like I said, a hundred over a hundred thousand visitors a day. Uh, you really need like high performance. You need it to be fast, uh, like crazy amount of server space storage, that kind of thing, and security. The pro is the better option for you because it gives you a dedicated IP. Meaning, you know, like I said before, it's a separate space on the server. It's not shared hosting with a lot of other websites. All of these three packages here are shared hosting and you know, shared hosting is fine. I'm on a shared hosting plan. I think we have either the plus or the choice plus and it's, it's been totally fine. Like I said, if you're not, if you don't have a crazy amount of traffic come to your, coming to your website and you're not needing a, a ton, a ton of space, server space, then the shared hosting is sufficient for you. So I would go either with the plus or the choice plus. So I hope that has been helpful for you in coming to a decision and finding out whether Bluehost is the right web host for you. Like I said, I'm gonna put the link to Bluehost in the description below. So if you wanna go on and dig in deeper into this website, you can click on that link below and 
come to this website and you can ask them a question too. You know, you can click on this help me button and start up a chat with someone right now. That's something I also really appreciated too when I was looking for a new host to work with was I could literally just come on this website and talk to someone right away, ask them the questions. You know, I basically gave them a rundown of my situation. I wanted to be able to host multiple websites and this is what I was going to be doing on the websites and this and that and they recommended the, the right package for me. So that's it for this video guys. Let me know once again if this has been helpful for you by giving it a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you need help designing your website or you're at a stage where you're completely lost, you know you need a website up but you don't know what to do next, feel free to reach out to me guys. I'll also put my email in the description below so you can shoot me an email and we'll figure it out together. I know starting a website can be super daunting, so I know how it feels. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Back, back, back from the dead. Oh, 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 oh,